Hey guys, I'm Nathan with the ebookreader.com. For this video, uh, I'm going to do a comparison review between the Sony DPT RP1 here on the right and the Remarkable tablet. So uh, they both have e ink screens. The Sony has a 13.3 inch e ink screen. Uh, it's got the power button, USB port on top. So it's very thin, very light. It has its own kind of feel to it. It's not like a tablet or an e reader, really. It's very thin and light. It's kind of surprising. Uh, so the Remarkable has got a 10.3 inch e ink screen. Add some buttons here at the bottom. You got page. Uh, forward and page back buttons uh, on each side and then in the middle it's got the home button uh, it's got the home screen here home screen layout so Sony doesn't really have a home screen it has like a document list um, so this one it's a little bit thicker it's actually the same weight as the Sony despite the fact that they're both the same I mean quite a bit difference in size so the Sony is just quite a bit thinner and it just seems lighter because uh, I mean with the bigger size but the, like I said they're like within one gram of each other so they're basically the same exact weight um, so like the Remarkable, it has a partially powered by ink card screen, and then the Sony has an ink card screen. So the background is just a little bit darker on the Remarkable. As you can see here, like the Sony, it sort of has more of a creamy tone to the background color, and the Remarkable has a little bit more of a grayish hue to it. So these two devices are very similar. They both support PDF format. The Remarkable also supports EPUB format. They both have stylus pens, so the Remarkable... Uh, it has the, the advantage when it comes to the stylus. It's got a faster response time, and it's got a whole bunch of different types of pen options and tilt and pressure sensitive. So the Sony, it just has basically like a couple of options, and it doesn't have like the pressure sensitivity. Um, it has more delay. So, uh, I mean, it's not bad, but as you can see, like if you're writing fast, it has a little bit of a lag to as it catches up with the screen with your writing. So uh, with the Remarkable, I mean, it's very, very fast. You can't really detect a delay at all. It just it feels more uh, immediate, more like writing on paper in that respect. And then it has a whole bunch of different sort of pressure options, uh, and then like tilting options with the stylus. You got a whole uh, like host of tools. So I'll show those a little bit later. So the Sony, uh, its stylus, it has two buttons on it. One you hold to erase. So if you just erase, you go over a line, and then it has another button for highlighting. So they both have like replaceable stylus tips. So it's kind of similar in that regard. The Sony, when you do highlighting. Uh, it's got a different kind of style to it. it like selects the text whereas the remarkable it's freehand highlighting so it's got this little highlighting tool you can hi highlight text with it too but it's a, it's just the freehand instead of like the where it automatically grabs the text uh, so uh, basically the remarkable it has some more advanced um, writing features and it's got this cropping option so the sony doesn't have a cropping option they both have zoom which i'll show in a second but when it comes to cropping uh, the Sony doesn't have any kind of margin cropping feature, whereas the Remarkable, you can get rid of the margins entirely. And so, like, when you do so, I mean, um, I mean, it's going to vary with the PDF, but this particular PDF, you get it to almost the same size on, as it is on the larger Sony screen. So, I mean, uh, that cropping margin feature definitely is handy, uh, but it's going to vary depending on your documents. I don't know, some have bigger margins than the others sometimes. Uh, it just depends. So, uh, as far as page turning, the Sony supports hand touch page turns. And the Remarkable, you got to use the buttons to turn pages. So they both have this sort of uh, multi-page view so you can navigate kind of around your documents. Uh, it's definitely a little bit faster on the Sony. It's got the uh, quad-core processor and it's got more RAM. Um, the uh, Remarkable has got the one-core process, single-core processor and like 512 megabytes of RAM. So it is a little bit slower when it comes to like larger documents. Uh, like page turns... Um, they're pretty much there's not a lot of difference here I mean they're about the same when it comes down to turning pages the Remarkable's navigation system is quite fast too but uh, sometimes you'll get the loading screen on the Remarkable you'll get that occasionally on the Sony too but you seem to get it more often on the Remarkable and it does that kind of weird refresh where it goes down the whole screen instead of just doing the whole screen at once as you can notice with the page turns so I mean as far as the actual page turns not much difference but uh, there is a difference when you're doing different when you're like using large documents and using the multi-page view. So Sony also has that dial at the top where you can uh, jump around different pages. Sony also has the uh, active hyperlink. So if you touch a hyperlink on the page, it'll take you to that page where uh, the Remarkable it doesn't have any of that right now. So they're going to be adding more features to it. This is at launch, so the software is very basic. Uh, you can say the same thing about the Sony too. They said they've gonna re they're going to add more features to it, but... Uh, it's very basic as well. Neither of them have table of contents, but this, so Sony does add like these lists for highlights and annotations so you can find your annotations and highlights easily. Uh, the Remarkable doesn't have anything like that yet. And then the Sony, it also has the search feature and like this search mark so you can add marks to the page. It's kind of a different way of doing bookmarks. Uh, the Remarkable it doesn't really have anything like that yet. It does have this live view where you can uh, like mirror the display on your computer with the app. 
Uh, so another thing with the Sony is it's got the two-page view. So in landscape mode, you can have your document on one page and your notes page on the other page. You can swap these around. Both of these devices support left and right hand setup. So, uh, but with the Sony, you do have this dual document view. You can view two PDFs at once, or you can view the same PDF uh, two pages at once like this. Uh, currently, the Remarkable, it doesn't have anything like that, but I don't know. They may add some more of these features uh, in the future. Check out uh, my blog to keep updated. So the Remarkable, it has all the advantages here with all these different pens and pencil tools. Uh, there's several pens. There's different, uh, you've got the brush, the pencil, and then like the pen, there's three different kinds of the pen, and then you got the three different thicknesses, and there's also different colors. So with the Sony, you've got less options when it comes to the stylus. Uh, you got red and blue, which show up as light and dark on the screen and you got a few different sizes uh, and then the remarkable also has this handy undo and redo it also has layers if you're working with complex drawings and stuff um, you can just keep things contained to different layers it's got zoom so the sony has zoom as well but this one's got a little bit more advanced options you got this little zoom dial where you can change the zoom level and then you can uh, move the uh, box around to show what part of the screen you want it on so the sony you need to activate the zoom and then you can select a part of the screen and we'll zoom into that section. You can't do any kind of scrolling while you're zoomed in. Um, and then you can't turn the page. So you got to X out of scroll out of zoom mode to turn pages. And then with the remarkable, it will uh, reset the zoom level once you go out of, once you turn the page. But it re keeps the cropping level, just not the zoom level. So when it comes to like your document layout, so the remarkable has a home screen. You've got different sections. Uh, the Sony doesn't really have a home screen. It just has like a list. And then like a, it's just got a really basic setup here. You got like a folders. Um, and then you can like create different folders and you can um, like rename your documents and it can get kind of unwieldy with this long list but uh, the remarkable you have some different sections so they both have like advanced note taking capabilities and then they have some templates included the Sony comes with a few templates you can set your own as well so the remarkable has a ton of templates in here uh, for all kinds of different note taking and both of these devices are kind of meant to be uh, like digital notepads as much as they are e-readers so Got lots of options as far as notes and handwriting and drawings, more so with the Remarkable, of course. Yeah, but they're both quite good in that respect. Uh, one difference with the Remarkable is it does support EPUB ebooks. Uh, they got to be DRM free, however, but you can load in your EPUB ebooks in here. Uh, Sony just supports the PDF format, so uh, you've got some different like line spacing and text adjustment options in the settings menu when it comes to your uh, EPUBs. There's not a whole lot of features, like I said, there's like no dictionary. Uh, no search or bookmarks or anything like that at launch, but they may be adding those uh, features in the future. So it is nice to have ebook support on here in addition to just PDF support. So it gives you some more possibilities. All right, so let's talk a little bit more about the stylus operations on here. So the Sony, like, uh, it's got the dark option and the light option um, as far as like the, uh, then they'll show up as like red and blue on your computer if you transfer it. And then the uh, Remarkable, it's got some, the three different hues like white gray and black and it's got the three different sizes for your pen strokes depends on whichever one you're using but like i was saying before the remarkable supports a uh, uh, pressure sensitivity so like if you're writing lightly the line will be lighter and the, if you press hard it'll be darker so the sony doesn't have anything like that it's just like one level basically of sensitivity if you're writing too light it doesn't really detect it and if you're writing harder it just it's the same as writing uh, regularly so uh, then with the Remarkable, you got the Erase. You can erase the full screen. Um, and you've also got the um, three different pen options. And then you got this Tilt option for the pencil. So you can have like shading because uh, it's really big on the whole drawing aspects. And you can have different feel for the pencil, different kind of levels of shading, different levels of darkness. Um, and so like I say, yeah, Sony is just more for the note taking. It's not really going to be very good at all for doing any kind of in-depth drawing because for one, um, when you use the eraser, it erases everything. So, uh, and then you've only got the few limited options here. You don't have like the tilt, the pressure sensitivity. So if you want to do drawings, there's no question the remarkable is the device to go with Sony. The, um, stylus is more just for taking notes. Cause like if you want to do any kind of drawings, it's too easy to accidentally delete anything because if you just touch something, it deletes anything that any continuous marks. So, uh, obviously that's going to uh, run into some problems if you're trying to do in-depth drawing whereas the remarkable you've got different kinds of erasers you like the regular eraser um, area erasing and then you've got the layers so the layers are key with the remarkable if you're doing any kind of in-depth drawing because then you can erase sections without erasing uh, lower layers so and then the remarkable also has some like uh, a move feature so if you want to like move text or move a drawing you've got this moving tool so you just circle whatever you want to move 
you can move it around the screen you can resize it you can duplicate it so you definitely have more advanced features when it comes to the stylus operation but the sony has a really nice screen i do like the 13 inch screen better and it just has a little bit better contrast with the lighter background and the device is just so thin and light it's really quite hard to believe you really do have to feel it in person to get a feel for it, it doesn't really feel like a tablet or knee reader but the remarkable it's quite nice too i mean it just sort of depends on what you're looking for it's about 100 dollars cheaper than the sony um, the build quality it's a little bit more utilitarian it's not quite as uh, nice as the sony it's not quite as thin but I mean, it's definitely functional, and the stylus adds all kinds of different options with that. And then you've also got, like, cropping. So uh, you can actually get the like a lot of PDFs close to the same size as they are on the larger screen just by getting rid of the margin. So, I mean, it just sort of depends on what you want. I think they're both quite nice, but obviously the Sony with that nicer screen, uh, it's a little bit better for e-reading. But the Remarkable, definitely better for writing, sketching. Uh, it's got more capabilities, for, a lot more capabilities for that. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this review. Check out the comparison review for more details. And also I have individual reviews of each of these for a lot more in-depth look at their feature set. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.